So when I was seeing my mom being raped, I didn't even know that was rape. In school, we never learned anything, even the word sex. Even you just hold somebody's hand, you think you get pregnant. Everyone had a different kind of understanding of sex. In North Korea, there is no word for gay. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. Today, in this video, I am going to talk about sexuality in North Korea. To save the word sex in my mouth, I still feel very conscious and I feel like uh, I'm gonna be judged or is it okay even for me to say this word? But when I be with my, you know, Western American friends, they really do not like feel guilty about it or even talk about it. And they told me here people, even when they go to school, in middle school, high school, they have to attend these classes called sex, sexual education. I'm not sure I haven't not received any of that kind of education so I think that is why it's more uh, common to talk about it but let's see what is going on in North Korea's education system to big with me in school we never learned anything even the word sex so uh, there were a lot of I think slangs the other using but it wasn't like uh, the medical or any like words things called like maybe intercourse none of that so I did not even know there are tons of different ways you can be intimate with somebody therefore you know a lot of times like they say uh, there are instances like women think even you just hold somebody's hand you think you get pregnant literally that's like what my mom's generation thought just holding a man's hand they thought they were going to get pregnant and also maybe they thought sex was not only you know it wasn't for pleasure they thought you have to do it to make a baby it wasn't you're done making baby you don't do it something like it. so everyone had a different kind of understanding of sex uh, therefore my case I did not even know that men and women should even kiss when they love each other so when I was seeing my mom being raped I didn't even know that was rape I knew something was wrong like I knew it was horribly horribly wrong but I didn't even know the word rape like I didn't even think what it was I was like that looked just horrible and so like that in North Korea a lot of people and most of people do not get anything from official education line nowadays there are a lot of foreign information going inside North Korea so for instance they do some people do even watch pornography but the, if you get caught you are going to be executed or sent to prison camps I went to school in New York it's Columbia University and I was actually remember how shocked I was being in school with other American <laughs> university students. So when I came to America right before my university, I met someone at a conference and like just he gave me a big hug and told me, Oh sis, don't worry about it, sweetheart, like I'm gay. And it's like, oh, what the heck this guy's talking about? Like, you cannot just hug me, I'm a woman. And I went back to my hotel room, I looked it up on Google, I was like, gay, what is this? And I was like, oh my gosh, is this for real? Is this like, is this really, can this ever possible? Because in North Korea, there is no word for gay. I think some people asked me to do this video about you know what are the words that North Korea do not have and that we have here like, I think gay is one of the example we don't have the word for gay we don't have the word for lesbian we don't have word for transgender we don't have word for bisexual I mean gender fluid so being at Colombia was like being a different planet I, you know, whenever we begin classes, like professors ask us like, oh, what's your pronouns? Like tell, tell me, and 
they are clearly like looking like a woman and they're like oh call me him I'm, i feel like a man I, i'm gender fluid and some people are like oh call me a like day i change like you know occasionally so just call me day and everybody was having a different like gender and coming from north korea it was like just like not knowing what gay even was understanding the degree of this gender fluid that was like shocking to me like what the heck is like gender fluid and what i based on what i learned like you know some people do feel it one day certain way and they can feel different way the other day and it gender you know, switches in them and I mean, who am i going to, to judge of course it's like their freedom and that is like the world that we are living in. We should be more tolerant to different people's feelings as long as they don't cause harm to anyone. Therefore, it was wonderful to explore it, but I wouldn't say it wasn't shocking or it wasn't hard. It was extremely difficult. I am still definitely, you know, in a, in a journey of understanding sexuality and gender in American context. And it is definitely fascinating but for North Korea, uh, I think they are going to even having a hard time with even being a gay or lesbian. So like, you know, there is no word for love, romantic love, as I said, there's no word for human rights. There's no word for freedom of speech or freedom of religion. And, and also there's no word for gay. So, you know, if someone was gay, I don't even know what happened to them. I'm sure the regime was like putting into prison and made them really silent. That's why the general, general public didn't know about it. But I don't even know around me someone who got executed or sent to prison because they were loving men or loving women. Because it wasn't something so unheard of. After I escaped North Korea, I heard the stories like men in North Korea have to serve in the military mandatory minimum 10 years so during that 10 years you really cannot date women like most of the time okay unless you're really super elite and your family is so powerful so during the 10 years only way for them to fulfill their sexuality is engaging intercourse with other men in the military so i heard that after i escaped but they still didn't say, we didn't say that's a gay. It was something they had to do. Because you know, imagine you as a like young man, you have you cannot be with another gender for 10 years. That's a, such a long time. So I think what like shocks me still now is like how North Korean regime are so thoroughly knew how to control people's minds. You know, George Orwell talks about in his book 1984 about newspeak that why do we need more simple words we don't have to say good great wonderful amazing you know fantastic incredible you know like can you think like when we describe something good in this country we have something 10 20 different words to describe it and that's like complex our thoughts are but in North Korea eliminating all those words and making one word to replace everything therefore they didn't even create the word for gay so the gay people wouldn't realize they are even gay themselves and that's how they make us ignorant and not knowing who we are that way they are they know how to make us to slave and does not know how to think for themselves ever again uh, now I mean like I went to gay parade two times in New York City while I was living there it was of course like some of it I wasn't definitely not used to but it was an absolute like celebration of your sexuality uh, I think what is wonderful about America is that you can be conservative and you can be like I mean, when it comes to sexuality, you can be liberal, like you can be anything and there is room for everybody. And as long as you do not cause a harm, you are okay. You, your feelings being respected. I think that is the, what I appreciate about America the most. You know, you might disagree with me, but that doesn't mean like 
I have to be like the the one way or the other. And this country do like um, appreciates all of all that diversity. I'm sure there should be at some point some kind of steer a uh, border or boundaries as a society because you know otherwise it's gonna be chaos it's gonna be anarchy you know you can claim anything it was what i was that thought was too much for me especially at colombia was i i just couldn't believe like what if some guy one day feels like oh i feel like a man today and like what i feel like a woman so i'm gonna come to your bathroom and as a woman I, i'm not comfortable sharing bathroom we do we you know like men looking men i mean i'm, I'm sure like i'm gonna be so okay with the transgender but clearly someone was very um hetero like sexual men like just felt like at that time as a woman so coming to my bathroom or even you know willing to to come to women's private like even bath so in Korea, there are like public places where you go take a bath or sauna where literally you do not wear any clothes and I'm not sure I'm like ready to do that yet but as I said, you know, I am still in this transition understanding other culture and other people's minds and I really think all I want to get out of this even doing this video is that, you know I think there's so much value in being open-minded and also you should feel safe to share your views on it. You shouldn't get attacked for your views and it should be a healthy discussion where we don't hold against anyone for their views. I am so grateful guys for your continuous support and let me know like what you thought about this transgender or sexuality in North Korea because this is such a fascinating topic even for me personally uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time thank you, bye bye